Hello, how are you? Happy New Year. Welcome back to Ken's Kitchen. Hope everyone had a pleasant New Year. I hope this New Year is safe, happy, and prosperous. Today we're going to prepare a classic corned beef, cabbage, and roasted potatoes. It's a very nice dish. Without further ado, let's get started. This is what I'm going to, as far as preparation, we're going to have garlic, ginger, Vidal onions, red pepper, bay leaf. Eat the broth. I'm gonna add to my potatoes that I cut and quartered. Mrs. Dash, Lurry, and black pepper. Here's my cabbage that I've cut, washed, and drained. So we're gonna cut that out. Now I cut it in half, and I'm gonna show you how to core a cabbage. What you do is go this way, put a D stroke on it. Come down here. Come down here. And the core is removed. Be very careful when you're doing this. We don't want any accidents. The core is removed. Then we're going to take our cabbage, throw our core out, put the core on the side. Now we're going to proceed to chop our cabbage up so it can be going into the skillet when we're ready for it with the ginger, garlic, and red pepper. Very important. All right, nice strokes. Let the knife do the work. Don't saw, let the knife cut. Nice, easy strokes. Okay, we're going to turn it again. We don't want to shred it, we just want to cut it so it can fit in the skillet and let it cook. One, there we go. There we go. Alrighty, it's going to be nice. It's going to be shred now, it's going to be nice. Now my potato, which I peel, we're going to quarter it, okay? We're going to take our knife, keep your fingers out of the way. One half, turn it on the flat side. Half and half, let's quarter the potato where I come from. All right, and to this, we're going to add some olive oil, some garlic, a little Mrs. Dash seasoning, some black pepper, and some Lori seasoning salt. Put that in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour until the potatoes are tender. We'll show you again not a quarter. Keep everything flat so you don't worry about it moving on you and you're cutting your hands. Okay, we're done with this. We'll come back to that. Now we're going to proceed with the corned beef. Everybody has their own tradition and ways of cooking corned beef. But I'm going to show you what works for me. We're going to take a cup of water, pour it on the side. Now my corned beef, I rinsed, rinsed it, cleaned it, trimmed some of the fat off, and pat it down dry. So here we go. There's my cup of water. We're going to take this beef broth. You know why we're using beef broth? Corned beef is beef. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to add maybe, maybe three quarters of a cup. You measure three quarters of a cup. And this is very simple, very simple. I think that's more than enough to this. We're not going to even cut the garlic up. We're going to take some cloves in there. I'm going to put three cloves in there just for flavor. One, two, three. And I got a little bay leaf here. We're going to use just for flavor. One, two, three. Now we're going to cut the little packet they give you. It's optional. It's a pickling spice. I think it's pretty good. So we'll take our scissors. We'll cut this. Sprinkle it on this side. Live it on this side. And here's the hard part of this dish. Put the curb on it and stick it in the oven at 330 to 350. I'm going with 330 because I want this to be low and slow. So we're going to bring our oven down. Use the bottom rack. I'm going to grab my little pot. This is the hardest part of it. What is our mantra? Don't look, let it cook. We're seeking an eternal temperature of 165. It could be achieved between two and a half three hours. This corned beef is three and a half pounds. Okay, that's it. We'll come back with you and show you the finished product. All righty, welcome back. We got the corned beef in the oven. Now we're going to prepare the potatoes and the cabbage. It's very simple. For the roasted potatoes, I got a pan here, a little dish. We're just going to put a little canola oil cooking spray, a little liberal so it don't stick. Now we're going to walk over to our potatoes that we peeled and quartered. Very simple. I got some little olive oil. We're going to toss it in a little olive oil here, just a little bit. We want to little, just a touch, maybe two tablespoons for Next, we're going to add my, my garlic that I chopped up already. We're going to add a little garlic. We're just going to sprinkle that all around and we're going to mix that up very slowly. That's about two cloves of garlic, two and a half cloves. Next, to this, we're going to add our Mrs. Dash. We're going to sprinkle this liberally on there. That's good. It's not going to hurt it. 
We add our black pepper, coarse black pepper. We're going to sprinkle just enough to cover the potatoes for a little flavor. Then we're going to add Laurie's seasoning salt. Sprinkle on there. That's about right. Okay, we got our parsley, dried parsley we're going to use just for a little color and flavor. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit on there. We're going to sprinkle around. Okay, we're going to mix that all together to come together. And we're simply going to pop it in the pan and put it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees. Grab a little spoon here. And we're just going to mix that all together and incorporate it. Just get it nice incorporated with the olive oil, the garlic, the seasoning. There you go. Make the potato get a little seasoning. It's not a hard dish. I'm going to take this over. We're going to pour it into a pan I had with canola oil so it's going to stick. Just enough to cover the bottom. Maybe I add enough. That's good. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'm going to pop this into the oven at 400 degrees. Okay, now when we get to our cabbage, we're simply going to throw some olive oil in here. We're going to saute our garlic, ginger, onions, and red peppers. We're just going to saute that with a little olive oil, season it with a little Mrs. Dash and a little ginger seasoning. And once it's translucent on the vegetables, we're going to add our cabbage and let that cook down as well and get that to stir in real good. And we're going to, to that, we're going to add a little chicken broth to it. And we're just going to season it up until you get the flavor you want it. And then we'll get back with you and show you the finished product. Hi, welcome back to Ken's Kitchen. Um, we're proceeding with our corned beef and cabbage, which is our dish for today. Here's our roasted potatoes at 400 degrees for approximately an hour, hour and 15 minutes. They came out the way we want it. We have our corned beef here that was about two, two and a half hours, internal temperature about 175. We let it rest, then we're going to cut it up before we eat it. Now we're going to proceed with our cabbage, which is a simple dish. I'm going to put my ginger, garlic, onions, red peppers, a little olive oil, infuse it into the pan, and we're going to just melt it down a little bit, then we may add a little, just a touch of chicken broth to it for a little flavor. We're going to have black pepper, Mrs. Dash, a touch of ginger, and seasoned salt. And we'll put it in the pan and that'll, that'll be the end of the dish. Okay, here we go. We've got the skillet medium, medium high. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in there. I would say about uh, two and a half, three tablespoons. Okay, the, the pan is nice and high. To that, we're gonna start with the hard vegetables first which is the red pepper. We're going to put that in there. We're going to see a little sizzle. So let's see if our pan is nice and hot. Yes, we want a little sizzle here. So here we go. Oh yeah, can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's goodness. That's goodness when you're doing that. Goodness. Goodness when you're doing that. Okay. There's my red peppers. They're looking good. Okay, we're letting that cook. All right, now, we get it about a minute or so. Then we're gonna add, which is our second goodness, our Vidalia onions, which we chopped up and shredded. Just sprinkle that on top and let it do its thing. We got a medium high heat here. Okay, we're gonna let that go. Then we're gonna saute that. Just saute it till it gets translucent. enjoying your weekends, a lovely weekend. I'm in the Mid-South, the weather's impeccable, but I'm from the Midwest, but I do enjoy the Mid-South a lot better in the winter. Okay, we're gonna go with step two, which is our ginger. Yes, indeed, cabbage and ginger go together. Here we go. I put a little ginger in there, and we're just gonna saute that as well. Mm-hmm, let us do a thing. Oh, you can smell this. Smell-o-vision would make a fortune. 
It's fantastic if you just smell it. Okay, we're going to use our wooden spoon to incorporate the ingredients. Okay, give that about, give that about a couple of minutes. Let it do its job. Don't rush it. Okay, that's doing well. Last but not least, we're going to add our fresh garlic, which is about two and a half or three cloves. Let's say three cloves of garlic. Put that in last because no one likes burnt garlic. We're just going to put that in there to permeate throughout the dish to give it a little flavor. Okay, let's toss that up a little bit. Let that go. Okay, my fire is up medium. We're going to lower it down a bit, just a smidgen. There we go. My onions are translucent. Now we're going to add the Festa de Resistance, which is the cabbage. Now, earlier we had some potatoes in here with the olive oil, garlic, Mrs. Dash seasoning, waste not, want not. We just threw the cabbage in there so it could absorb some of that flavor as well. So here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna toss it into the, we're gonna toss it into the skillet. And here we go. Just toss that in there real lightly. Oh, you can smell the flavors here. Come on by, I got a, I got a plate for you. Okay, let that cook. Mm -hmm. We're trying to infuse flavor, that's what we're trying to do. That's the objective here. Let that cook slowly. We got it on low heat. We're on medium to start, now we're on a low heat. So we can just get it down a little bit. Okay, going nice. Put my cabbage in there. I wish you could be here to smell these flavors. Okay, we're gonna let it just do its thing. We're not gonna rush it. Now I'm gonna walk over and add my dry ingredients. Got some Mrs. Dash, a little black pepper, parsley, and I'm gonna add one more thing that I like to enjoy here with my cabbage. So give, me, give me a shot and see if you like it. I'm gonna add a little smoked paprika. This adds heat and flavor. So this is my personal touch, but you know, give it a shot. Not too much, because that is smoked and that means heat. So that's very hot. All right, then we're gonna add just a smidgen of Mrs. Dash again. A smidgen, this is about two tablespoons. Next, we're going to add a little black pepper. Okay, we're doing fine. Just let it do its job. Don't rush it. It's going to turn out just fine. And I don't really parse it. That's going to be good. Let that do its thing. Cook slowly. The aroma is incredible. We're going to incorporate it. Mix it up. With some tongues. And look at those peppers. They're not overcooked. They're not overwilted. Thing. Okay, our next thing we're gonna add a little chicken broth to that. We're going to add a little chicken broth, a little Swanson's chicken broth, and then just add, uh, not a lot, just a, just a touch, to give it a little flavor. I would say it's about a quarter of a cup. Then we're gonna put our cover on it and then simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Dish is done. And we'll show you the finished product. Okay, welcome back. We have the finished product. Here's our cabbage that get sauteed with the ginger, garlic, onions, and red pepper, and our seasoning that we put in there. Here's our roasted potatoes that are completed. And here's our corned beef that we've cooked and we let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes so it can reach 
you know, the juices can settle in it. All right, we're gonna cut this, as always, against the grain. Cut against the grain. Okay. Cut it against the grain. Mm -hmm. and you can cut it any way you like it. I like the little thin slice. See, against the grain, it won't tear. It won't shred on you. And my internal temperature actually reached, it should be 165. I think about, I reached about 175, 180, but it's very, I think it's very tender. Okay. All right, we've got this done. Now we're going to plate. And then right here, we're going to add, I don't know, how many pieces of corned beef you want to have is depending on you. It's very tender. We've got two pieces here, mm -hmm. like that. And then we're going to add some of these roasted potatoes. It came out pretty good, garlic roasted potatoes. We'll just add that. And then we're going to add a little bit of the cabbage, the stir fry hot cabbage. Which is, I think is very flavorful. Okay, I cook this, I expect for you to eat it, therefore I have to taste it and give you honest opinion. All right, cabbage, I don't have a knife, I only have a fork. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm gonna test it out, see if it's fit for human consumption. We're gonna try a little potato. I'm proud of that. Oh wow. I'm gonna come over there. We're gonna try some corned beef. I want you guys to cook it and taste it and give me an honest opinion. Subscribe if you like and let me know. And then last but not least, the cabbage. Please hit the subscribe button if you like it. Click on the link below and get all the ingredients and let me know.